Andrew uses £12 million from Queen. Duke can't pay the case himself as his money already gone with the wind. Prince Andrew will pay Virginia Dufry more than £12 million using some money from the Queen, according to reports. No details have been disclosed with regard to the settlement made to Ms. Dufry or the costs, but there has been speculation the Duke of York has agreed to pay an eight-figure sum. The Telegraph claims the total amount going to Ms. Giver and her charity exceeds £12 million. It reports that negotiations over the settlement lasted for at least 10 days with the Duke's legal team changing tack when the date for his deposition, which would have seen him questioned under oath by Ms. Giffer's lawyers, was set for March 10. Buckingham Palace announced last month that the Duke would be defending the case as a private citizen, but commentators have claimed that would not stop him having been helped with money from the Queen's private wealth. Andrew receives a Royal Navy pension and the monarch is also thought to fund her son from her £21.7 million a year duchy of Lancaster income. The figure she gives her second son is kept private. David McClure, author of Royal Privilege, The Queen's True Worth, said a settlement could be in the order of several million dollars. He told the PA news agency, that raises the question, does he have the money? There were reports Andrew was trying to sell a chalet in the Swiss resort of Verbier which he bought for a reported £13 million in 2014 with his ex-wife, Sarah, Duchess of York. Mr McClure added, the very fact he had to sell, it does show he had some money but he didn't have lots of money. So where does the money come from? I think more than likely the Queen. Virginia Dufry, now 38, claims she was sexually assaulted by the royal when she was just 17. The Queen's son has vehemently denied the claims made against him. Ms. Dufry has accused the Duke of York of sexually assaulting her in three locations, including at Epstein's longtime associate Ghislaine Maxwell's London residence. Maxwell was recently found guilty of criminal charges of sex trafficking in her Manhattan federal court trial. Jufri also has claimed the royal assaulted her in New York City and in the U.S. Virgin Islands when she was underage. Responding to the claims, in 2019, the prince told BBC Two's Newsnight program, it didn't happen. The British royal family is trying to put one of the most vexing scandals it faces behind it, with the announcement on Tuesday that Prince Andrew, the second son of Queen Elizabeth II, had settled a lawsuit brought by a woman who accused him of raping her when she was a teenager. But questions linger, not least who is paying the undisclosed settlement, given Andrew's well-publicized, if mysterious, financial ups and down. For the Queen, who marked the 70th anniversary of her accession to the throne earlier this month, the settlement removes the prospect of embarrassing details emerging about Andrew's contacts with his accuser, Virginia Dufry, whom he met through his friend, the financier and convicted sex offender Jeffrey Epstein.